Hey everybody, welcome back to Suckless Saturday. It's Neil out here on the Widener Range on a sunny and hot and ugh, it's about halfway miserable August day, but uh, at least I'm glistening, right? So hey, today we're gonna continue on with some Suckless stuff, hang around. You need a shot timer because that which gets measured gets worked on. The Range Tech Timer is the official timer of active self-protection because it is versatile, reliable, feature-rich, and very economical. Check out all it can do at the link below. If you've been watching for the last few weeks, uh, I've been doing some work that I picked up from Brian Hill on working on the draw and presentation and really doing some micro drills. About three, four weeks ago, we spent some time and the assignment was really just clear your, clear your cover garment and get to here. We talked about raking the fingers up and all of that kind of stuff and getting a good, good solid grip in the holster before you do anything else. Uh, we worked on clearing the gun then and uh, we're on my range. This is a safe place here, but I'm gonna show you. I've got an empty gun here um, and an empty magazine in it because it doesn't hurt my fingers if I've got an empty mag in it when I holster up. But uh, but what we worked about was coming out of the holster and getting our support hand on good and married up uh, so that we don't have any space in there at all. But it's nice to have my own range where I can just wave guns around and do whatever I want. This is awesome. Um, but that's what we worked on a couple of weeks ago and uh, then there was a gap. We did something else for suck less, but here we are back and I'm gonna work on something today. So now what I wanna really do is I wanna work on the presentation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from right here where we're married up and we're gonna focus on our support hand as we press the gun out. So we're not throwing it out with our strong hand, we're pulling it out with our support hand. And so what it's gonna look like is just like so, we're just gonna press that thing out work your way to the trigger, see your dot or your front sight, whatever optic or whatever sighting system you're using, see it. So you're just gonna start from your marry up position that we finished out a couple of weeks ago, where we're coming out to here. Make sure you've got all of that that you want and then focus on that left hand pulling it out. And I think what you're gonna see, what I'm seeing is when I come out like so, every time, I've got the dot right where I want it to be. It's very much more consistent for me. It's dropping in at 12 o'clock. So I'm coming in a little front side proud. So I'm not talking Charlie's Angels, not doing any of that. Um, and I'm not bowling it out. I'm coming out, I'm snapping it to about here. And you can see I'm just elevated enough. I'm on my side berm here. If, I, if this gun went off, I would hit about eight feet in the air. So it's just elevated a hair and I'm about 20 feet from the berm. So if that helps, but just elevated just enough that when I press that thing out and I finally, and I engage right at the end, that dot drops right in from 12 o'clock. Now for me, it, sometimes it drops in uh, from more of a little bit of a one o'clock. And what that tells me is that I'm not gripping enough with this support hand. When I've got that good grip and I really focus, that thing drops right in from the 12 o'clock. So what it looks like is I'm pointing it right at the camera, just like so, every time. So your assignment for this week, and this is a quick one, guys, there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, clear your gun, make sure we're doing this as safely as possible, okay? Um, and I would like to see you videotape yourself do that. So all of the pieces, um, so we're going from here, just coming out to here. That was the last couple of weeks. Now we're just gonna finish this up as with that good grip. We're gonna press out, engage the trigger. You can prep where you feel like you're ready to prep. If you've made the decision to shoot, prepping as you're pressing out is completely fine. You may wanna run a few reps, just keeping your finger high and in register. Um, remember that whole thing with putting too much pressure on it with our high and in register finger, kind of wobble stuff around. So just work through that a little bit. Get, get 20, perfect reps where it drops in from 12 o'clock while you're focused, you're engaged and you're present. That's all I want you to do this week. As you do this two to three, maybe four times this week, if you, if you get the time to do it, press out, see it. One, that was perfect. Two, that was perfect. Three, that was perfect. Four, ooh, that was not perfect. All right, four. Oh, there it is, yep. Focus on that left hand, engaging my pinkies. Nope, came in from two. There it was, all right. There it is. I don't know, is that seven? Eight, nine, 10. So I did 10, I didn't even move my trigger finger. Let me do 10 more, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There it is again. That's it guys, very simple, very easy. 
clear your gun, make sure you got your barrel block in. If you've got one, if you don't, you know where to get one of those things. Um, but spend that time, get that last little piece and we're myelinating everything together. The next week we're gonna put it all together and then we're gonna test it. So, uh, so go out and do your thing to suck less, but spend some time with this. Really consider if you're a lefty, focus on your right hand. You guys have it a little better than, you do, than the rest of us, I think, just simply because our society is, you know, a lot of Catholic nuns tried to beat the left-handedness out of you guys, I guess. But when it's all said and done, uh, focus on whatever your support hand is. For me, I'm, I'm a righty, so it's my left hand. I am focused on that, and I'm focused on driving that gun out with that. Uh, it helps me to engage, and, uh, and I'm not slamming it out there as well when I do that. So there's a lot of benefits to this. Work through this, spend some time in it, see what it does for you. Come, dry, come join us in the uh, Ask Dry Fire Challenge on Facebook. We do some challenges every now and again. Just got done, wrapped up, gave, up a, gave away a bunch of prizes and stuff, but we got some more stuff coming. I think you'll have fun with it, but come do it with us. Hang out and uh, suck less next week.